Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Thank you for joining us here. I'm Joe Ellison. Coach John Calipari has made the announcement that he's leaving the University of Kentucky. Meanwhile, the Arkansas Board of Trustees is meeting today. They listed the discussion as a consideration of salary in the excess of line item maximum. Now, Calipari held the job of head men's basketball coach at Kentucky for 15 years. The last few weeks, we've come to realize that this program probably needs to hear another voice, that the university as a whole has to have another voice giving guidance about this program that they hear. And the fans need to hear another voice. Well, Calipari said he is exploring other options, but did not confirm whether this included Arkansas. Of course, we'll continue to follow the story throughout the day. We'll bring you updates on our website. And in other news, a former Crawford County deputy's federal jury trial has been canceled ahead of his plea change hearing. Zachary King was set to go in front of a jury in a federal case on May 6th, along with the co-defendant Levi White, another former Crawford County deputy. These deputies are accused of using excessive force while arresting a man outside of a Mulberry gas station back in August of 2022. After several delays at King's request, the trial has been canceled and a plea change hearing is scheduled for this coming Monday. You can catch up on the details of this case at 5newsonline.com. Well, the 2024 fiscal session begins today in Arkansas. The state legislature, Governor Sarah Sanders, is expected to address the joint session at the House chamber in her State of the State speech. Lawmakers in the House and Senate are taking up Governor Sanders' $6.3 billion proposed budget for the coming year, with a 1.76% increase over this year's spending. Most of that increase will fund the expansion of the Education Freedom Accounts, or school choice vouchers. Other items that could come up include regulation of cryptocurrency mining and changes to employee pay for state employees. We'll get to other news in just a minute, but first let's get a check of that weather with meteorologist Zach Scott. Hey, Zach. Hey, Joe. We've got rain increasing across five country as we go through our Wednesday. We'll really see our highest coverage as we get into Wednesday afternoon. Can't roll out a stray shower or two through your morning hours. As we get closer to lunchtime, though, again, late morning, early afternoon, that's when we'll likely see at least some scattered shower activity best in the River Valley and the Washitals, and then eventually just closes in as our storm system pushes into the region. We'll see the rain expand during the afternoon into the evening hours. A good steady shower activity should overall be uh, in range to pick up one to two inches with some locally higher amounts. We'll really be watching that LaFleur, Scott County areas that saw an inch of rainfall going into Tuesday morning could pick up another couple of inches with some locally higher amounts so we can't roll out some uh, localized flooding, low lying poor drainage areas off towards the south. Rain will start to taper off as we go late evening into the overnight. As we get closer to 3, 4, 5 a.m., the rain should be off towards the east. Few lingering clouds will break up and we'll look for sunshine to take over. We'll have some gusts this afternoon and this evening, 25 to 35 miles per hour. We'll stay windy overnight. Cooler tomorrow, Joe, 40s to low 50s, feeling like the lower 40s. And then we'll have that uh, cool north wind tomorrow, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. All right, thanks for that, Zach. Well, the Fort Smith Parks and Recs Department announcing plans to demolish the pool there at Creek Mark Park Pool. Five News reporter Jacob Luthi has more on why they say changes are needed there. The bathhouse, it is 75 years old. You know, sometimes you look to rehabilitate things, but just the building is too dilapidated. So instead, construction crews will begin demolition on Thursday in preparation for a new bathhouse at the Creekmore Park Pool, a project the city hopes will fix a range of issues. Well, right now, you, the drains in the bottom of the bathrooms, you go hose the drains and the, the, you have to unblock them every summer, you know, because the, the plumbing is so old. And because of the current situation, Parks and Recreation Director Sarah Duster says hours of operation for the pool have been reduced. So we've had to reduce that and kind of open only Memorial Day through the end of July because we simply cannot support that operations because of the state of the bathhouse. So once these renovations are made, we can get back to our normal operating schedule. In addition to modernizing the bathhouse and fixing the plumbing, Duster says new amenities will also be added. It'll have a lifeguard room, first aid, a party room, 
That's something we don't currently have and also it will enclose the diving well. Pool manager Ian Bullock says he hopes the changes bring more people to the pool. It is iconic and I think uh, the citizens of Fort Smith and the surrounding area, uh, they need a pool. This is one of the only public pools <laughs> in a huge area. According to Fort Smith Parks and Recreation Department, the project is expected to cost just under $6 million. In Fort Smith, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, Five News. Well, thank you for joining us here today for the latest news and weather where you live. Catch up with us again tomorrow right here for more.